Hi, my name is Christian, and you're watching Zach Archer. I'm going to try this out where I'm going to watch some of the most listened to so most listened songs in June 2021. I know there have been compilations of like top 500 most streamed songs ever, you know, and they're updated ever so often. But I thought it'd be cool if we could find monthly ones to like maybe check out every month or so of like the most streamed songs. Because I'm a music fan. I know it's not cool necessarily, but I do lo like mainstream music a lot. Um, well, not all of it, but, you know, a lot of my favorites are kind of basic in that way. I'm a big Ariana Grande, Dua Lipa fan, so the kind of artists that will show up a lot in this. I just thought it would be a fun little way to just take a trip through the what's, what's popping recently, you know? Because they don't always get to just talk about current uh, popular music, but we'll see how it goes. I don't even know if this is a good video or not. It says top 100 most listened songs i don't even like the phrasing of that already I, I don't have a great amount of faith in that but i don't know how it's tracked exactly if it is actually tracked streaming everything i don't know I'll check it out good song Never heard that song before, literally ever. Still great, still great. Powfu featuring Biba Doobie. Suicide people are feeling Suicide Squad because the Suicide Squad's coming. Oh, due to copyright issues, issues Coldplay him for the weekend is not here. Wow, never seen this. Oh, I love this song. I'm so stupid that I love the song, but I do. Everything I do. It's really number 90, huh? What? How is this number 89? That was really so popular. When you dance, dance, dance. Classic. <laughs> this is a new. After all, this video is always a been very interesting to me. And I'm a star boy. One of those overplayed, but it's good. Yeah. Gee, thanks. That song grew on me. R.I.P. Oh. Oh. Just by selecting the specific genre. Check it out. Uh, all right. Fuck you. So, uh, Bruno. I love Bruno. Give me new music, Bruno. I love Dua. I still do. <laughs> Overplayed, but genuinely a great song. What a feel good. He's so good. Beautiful girls. These songs are just being streamed from pure nostalgia, I think. Okay. One of my least favorite Blackpink songs in the grand scheme of things, but still good. Not my love. It's a good song. Time, 
generic YouTube music. I need someone to lean on. Still a fun song. Take on me. This is when I was uh, wasn't so much into Bruno, you know. It was when he was first coming onto the scene, and when he was really popular in like eighth grade for me. But you know, and like the ladies were obsessed with her. Um, but I mean, in retrospect, it's still a pretty fun song. But he's just done so much better now. Yeah, yeah, classic. And now, I'm looking right in the only half of me. I don't know what it is about this song where I can just jam out to it. I'm just, I mean, I'm here for it. Hmm. Entertain us. Yep. On the ground. She's right over there, Rosé, uh, that exact album. That song is so good, by the way. When I first listened to Rosé's two, you know, two sing songs that she released solo, I was like, yeah, that was all right, but I can't believe how wrong it was. I'm obsessed with both of them now. This, this is still great. Oh, wow, okay. I was just gonna say in the last one, it's amazing the power that Rihanna has over us when even when she's not releasing anything. Like her back catalog just stands the test of time for her popular music, I guess. Should I watch this movie? This song is I still love this song, but should, I never saw the movie. Ed Sheeran always runs the charts. Zayn and Sia? Didn't know this existed. Dancing in the dark. Dancing? I don't talk anymore. Love this song, so I never heard that. Is that new? This one's pretty good. I do love Billy, but this one's pretty good. I still love her in this video. Why does this song do something for me? I just want to start crying whenever I hear it. I'm like, Jesus. Man, it just hits different now. It hits different. Okay, well, I don't even want to actually start crying, but... Yeah, there's something about her voice now. It's like, ooh. Ooh, it's like it's like nostalgic, but also it's like... A thousand years. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He-Man. T-Swift. Oh. This is a YouTube generic music. Something about 21 Pilots, like their sound is really cool and like 
by themselves or songs like heathens and stressed out they're, they're really cool but it's just like the sound for me is, is a little tiring you know i kind of get tired of it hey everybody Number 36? I don't... What the hell? Why is everyone feeling that song right now? I don't get it. Oh, okay. I think that's wonderful. It's so, so good. Honestly. I still haven't heard this one. Dark Horse. Okay, who's listening to this in June 2021? Don't believe this. I love this song still. It's a nightlight. What's with Maroon 5? By the way, Gal Gadot, hello, got you, found you. What's with Maroon 5 and like every hit they come out with has to be a viral top of the charts hit and I have to hear it over and over again. It's almost like I'm, I'm been conditioned not to like Maroon 5 because of how much I see him. Adam, how much I see you. But it's a, uh, I don't know, like all, all these top Maroon 5 songs have always been like, eh, they're okay, but. I've heard him way too much, so I don't even want to hear him at all. He's so rude. Why does this song last so well? Really? This is another one. Jesus. Oh my god. I don't even know this one. Call that mental freeze. This one's also overplayed so much, but it's so good. Uh oh. That one's pretty cool. F you. Using Musil just by selecting the specific genre. Check it out. I don't know who this is or what that is. Driver's license? Never heard this one. Butter. Okay, as a huge Dua fan, I have to say this is my biggest like oversight. You know, the new rules I've never been a huge fan of. It's like I can listen to it. And I won't necessarily skip it every time, but I prefer most of her other songs. And you know, this being one of her first viral hits that put her on the map, it's like, okay. I'm, I'm glad she took this and it wasn't just like a one hit wonder. She actually, she grew from this and some of her best music is her most recent music for me. So this one is almost like, hmm, forget about it. Don't think about this when you think about Dua Lipa. She's got, think about her future nostalgia album. Uh. What are you looking for? I love this song. I have this thing with Shakira. She's like, I think she's the, might be the hottest woman in the world. Like hottest. Because you know that Super Bowl halftime performance was amazing. She is amazing. Like some of her music videos are great. She's got great, um, great moves. She's beautiful and she's got a really unique voice, which is like, and you can, there's a really interesting flair on it with this Black Eyed Peas featuring Shakira, Girl Like Me, this song, I'm just really into it for some reason, but she goes, are you looking for a girl like me? And it's just fun, 
But I'm like, wow, she's she just doesn't age. We'll take it, take it or leave it. Really, number fourteen. People jamming to this in June 2021. I love this song. It's one of my favorites from her. There's their song. Their voices blend so well. And this is another thing. Ed Sheeran. You hear it all the time. Ed Sheeran's the top ten. Like no matter where you go, he'll be there. Whatever month, whatever time period since he's been popular, he's the top five, top ten songs. But it's it's a great song. But just hear it so much. This is mainstream music, though. So what do you expect? How do I not know this song? Or this song? Why don't I know Olivia Rodrigo at all? Long day. This is like one of the most tasteful songs to tie into a movie ever. You know, they really handled it well with Paul Walker passing away. And they're like this song blew up so much, that movie blew up so much. It's like, a, I wanted to say the universe aligned, but uh, I mean, just Paul Walker died, so that's kind of messed up. But I mean, something came of that at least. It's a nice song. It's a really sweet song, honestly. But despite it being so mainstream, in the in the movie. Is so blockbuster or triple A. They, like, they produce something nice here. Can you lose? This one's a little bit of a jam. Mm. If you ever have any doubt as to why I, I love Dua Lipa, just watch that video. Like, she's stunning in everything I see from her now. But I love. That music, I just love, love her music now. Huge fan. It's okay. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah. It's such a good song. Georgia. I still haven't watched or heard this, so interesting. It seems I have overlooked something here. Look, I wasn't claiming to be a perfect um, popular music expert. I, I I knew most of those, but Olivia Rodrigo. I'm just completely oblivious. She's number one, number one in the month. And I'm just completely oblivious there. That's so weird. So I don't really get the stats for this. Like the, I'm just trusting that the hundred. This is from Red List, a channel called Red List. I'm supposed to just trust that their most listened songs in June. I don't know. But I mean, if they are, Olivia Rodrigo, that I just am I completely oblivious, or is there something weird, some weird thing where she's like a TikTok star and that's why she's so popular? I don't know. Uh, so if you want to let me know, feel free. Is Olivia Rodrigo uh, someone I should listen to? I only got a couple little tidbits of the songs, and neither of them really interested me at all. It didn't intrigue me. But uh, I mean, that's a, t- a little t- a tiny taste, so it's not really it's not a true reflection. Let me know if I should do more videos like this, going through like most popular songs. It's kind of fun, you know, to go through and just jam out and just make some comments here and there. And again, this is, or not again, but this is, could be a way to expose me to some popular music I haven't actually heard too much of. So yeah. And the, the biggest takeaway for me is Olivia Rodrigo. Should I take that away or, or keep it? But not leave it. That's it. Check out ZachArcher.net for, for any, everything else.